Well, this won't be a surprise, but we're going through staggering inflation right now. We haven't seen in 40 years. Prices were up nearly 7% in November. Dan Cummins is here with the good news and the bad in tonight's Stretching Your Dollar. Dan? Mel, the cost for everything is going up. Food, gas, electricity, housing, cars, clothes. Maybe your family is struggling to keep up. Even a raise gets wiped out. What can you do? The latest item on the menu is higher prices. We'd rather not pass it along. Um, but if we have to, we have to. If our hands are that tied. That's a restaurant owner. The cost of business keeps going up. A result of surging demand from Americans with money to spend, yet, yet those supply chain issues, ships are stuck in a port, and a shortage of drivers to deliver goods. That's led to the worst inflation in nearly four decades. Inflation had been pretty much kept in check since the last major surge in 1980, but the wallop to the wallet is especially pronounced in basic needs. Energy prices up more than 33% last year. Among soaring food prices, beef roast up more than 26%. Chicken and seafood up nearly 11%. The president says it's temporary, but how long will this take? Perhaps not fast enough for those who traveled over the holidays seeing major sticker shock. Fuel prices up 58%. Hotel rates up more than 25%. Car rental rising 37%. Realistically, I think this goes on for another year. By November of next year, I really do expect that most of this would have worn itself out. You're kind of like a deer in headlights looking at like, where is this going to turn? When is it going to get better? And just settle down and get stable again. And we're trying to hold on and we just don't see the end yet. And there is another sneaky form of inflation we're seeing more of these days called drip pricing, where companies add fees and surcharges your bill so they can still advertise a lower price and not scare away customers with sticker shock. What can you do? Just be patient. Look for sales even more than you used to. Buy groceries in bulk. Maybe hold off on buying those clothes or that car until next year. For Stretching Your Dollar, I'm Dan Cummins.